a warm welcome to everyone. I would like to extend my sincere gratitude towards International Popular Scientist Award for giving me an opportunity to present my recent publication. So, this is Vinoda, research scholar from Department of Electronics and Communication Engineering from NIT under the supervision of Dr. E. S. Gopi, Associate Professor from the Department of Electronics and Communication Engineering, National Institute of Technology, Trichirapalli. So the presentation is going to be about analyzing the performance improvement of hierarchical binary classifier using and colony optimization, which is nothing but ACO by implementing Monte Carlo simulation and this is also demonstrated with a real-time data set that is engine vibration data set. So the problem statement is about we are mainly focusing on the multi-class problem which means the hierarchical binary classifier were often used for multi-class problem when the number of classes is significantly more. The hierarchical structure suffers from a decrease in direction probability when there is an increase in the number of layers and number of classes. To be more focused, let me have an example. When we have a multi-class data, for example, when we have a data set of its root classifier, say from 1, 2, 3, 4, so on, and it has its subsequent classes, that is subclasses, for example, class 2 may have a subclass of 2.1, 2.2 and 2.3. Like that in class 3 we may have 3.1, 3.2 and 3.3. Again that 3.1, 3.2, 3.3 may be subdivided into 3.1.1, 3.1.2, 3.1.3 1 .1, and so on. So here the ultimate aim is to find the leaf node that is the last node at the hierarchical level. So when we go, that's why we are saying like when we have a multiple number of classes, that is more number of classes in more levels. Here we call levels like, like if we have a major class that is root class, as I said, 1 to 5 or 1 to so on, we are calling that as a level 1. And when it has a subclasses, then we call it as a level 2. And again, the subclass has been divided into sub subclasses, which we call it as level 3 and then level 4 and so on. So when we go for more levels and more number of classes, here comes a question mark that the probability of deduction rate is remarkably decreasing. So to overcome this, what are the approaches we can go for? So most probably, they are going for hierarchical classification. So there are both pros and cons in hierarchical classification. The problem is they couldn't able to achieve a better result or better probability of deduction when they go for the deeper classes. So the objective is to improve the overall deduction rate in multi-class classification. So the already existing research work on these area is mainly focused on most of the researchers they used to focus on the hierarchical classification to deal with the multi-class classification problem generally hierarchical structures can either be a tree or a direct acyclic graph so this is nothing but predicting a single class label in a hierarchical structure is a path from the root node to the indicated leaf node at different hierarchical level. This class hierarchy can be incorporated for the better performance when learning a classification model for a hierarchical classification problem. So the orally existing work which they have we have come across and uh, here I have listed some of the papers where they are classifying this classes multiple classes into two broad category that is the major root class they are considering as a broad category and consequent sub subclasses of that root class they are considering as a subcategory so only two classes so the and they are using two classifier to train these two class two levels in a different way 
For example, the broad category has been trained with a decision tree classifier. After classifying that broad cat category, for example, 1 to 5, when we say if a particular network is giving a result as 2, then with that result, they are using some other classifier for example support vector machine and they classify the subclass that 2.1 or 2.1.1 what are the classes it has it has those are classified by using any one of the classifier so they have attempted using support vector machine k nearest neighbor and decision tree for the subcategory and in second case same method which they have adopted in the first paper same thing they have adopted but the difference is the broad category has been classified using convolution neural network and the subcategory again they are using support vector machine kernel uh, k nearest neighbor and decision tree so this is the way method they have used and uh, one more thing which they are using we face a problem is class imbalance Actually, when we collect a data or when a data is collected in a real-time application, it is not necessary that all the classes should have equal number of class samples or equal number of size. This may affect the performance of the network. To overcome this, we should have a class balanced network. That is, each class should have a balanced size. So, generally, they are adopting oversampling, undersampling, smooth method to balance, to uh, generate some data set, to duplicate some data sets and they are training the network accordingly. They are classifying and the earlier attempts to optimize this hierarchical classification as I said when we uh, use optimization technique for uh, adopt for uh, making the hierarchical structure in a more proper way to train the network it may further give the better result so this is what uh, these are the existing methods which they have come they have done already and uh, the work which we have carried out based on considering all these things or about we propose to use hierarchical classification that is a uh, each class we are considering as each block and each class, each block is trained using a binary classifier, using and colony optimization to optimize the order of the classifier block at each level. Not only that, we are assigning a suitable classifier model for the individual block at each level to maximize the overall probability of detection. So it is also proposed to use an adaptive boosting classifier also. So oh, we have used two different techniques. One is we are finding out a best classifier from a couple of classifiers which we are uh, adopting and then we are uh, tuning it with by, by using and colony optimization to rearrange the order. Similarly, instead of uh, finding, out the, find, finding out the best classifier, we are using adaptive boosting classifier that is the weighted average of the constructive classifier. We are combining all the classifier. As an alternative approach, instead of fixing one classifier at each block and the order of classifier block is optimized as previously using ACO that is and colony optimization. So, uh, this and colony optimization which works under the fitness function that is we are finding at each block the best classifier by using a description that is uh, by using a method of probability of false negative and the probability of false positive so which gives the characterization of the individual classifier block in the hierarchical structure so this technique has been performed by using Monte Carlo simulation where we are, gen we are randomly generating some random data, random values for example the false positive and false negative which we are using that we are generating randomly and it was found that the overall detection rate is consequently increasing using the proposed method for various attempts made in the Monte Carlo simulation.
So the performance of the optimized binary structure obtained using the proposed technique by using um, engine vibration data that is uh, this after uh, using this Monte Carlo simulation we have also tested our technique with a real time data set that is a open source data set and uh, with uh, 40 plus classes and also with uh, more than 50 plus uh, block classifiers with three different levels and it has been compared with the default hierarchical structure where we are not changing a uh, default hierarchical structure nothing but we are not changing the order we are making it as a default and we are training um, all the classes with the same classifier so our proposed two technique has been compared with these uh, uh, default hierarchical structure so and also we could able to observe that there has been a significant improvement in the overall detection rate uh, in each class so the inference that is the takeaway or the conclusion from our proposed work is we have demonstrated the importance of optimizing the order in which the blocks are arranged in the hierarchical classifying structure using the real-time data set that is a machinery fault database and uh, we have also observed that ancor new optimization with the adaptive boost algorithm that is when we use an adapt boost algorithm along with the optimization technique it gives the better result that is overall accuracy is almost about 90.9 percent when we compared with the and called and call me optimization without adapt boost so instead of adapt boost we are uh, fixing individual best classifier and then uh, uh, we are using and call me optimization for uh, rearranging the order which gives the accuracy of 89.02 percent so uh, these are well uh, improved than a default hierarchical structure so the hierarchical structures accuracy are even lesser than these two techniques so this uh, proposed algorithm is not when it also validated with as I already mentioned it is validated with the real time data set and also with the Monte Carlo simulation. So this proposed technique is not restricted or uh, it is not restricted to one particular application. It can be used for every application where there is a demand in hierarchical that is multi level classification or when you have more number of classes there we can use these techniques as an approach to classify which gives which will give you a better detection rate so these are some of the references which i have listed here and uh, yeah so thank you